Now, despite last year's eviction of traders from the Kaneshi Market's footbridge by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, the traders have defiantly returned to trade on the rickety structure, posing safety risks to commuters. There is more in the following report, filed by City News' Samuel Akom and read by Kennedy Chumisi. Last year, Accra's mayor, Elizabeth Saki, embarked on a tour of the metropolis during which an incident occurred at the Kaneshi Market. Elizabeth Saki took decisive action during the confiscation of goods from traders utilizing the footbridge effectively clearing all traders from the area. This move also resulted in the dismissal of the tax force officer responsible for keeping the footbridge clear of traders. You know that you have been given a responsibility to clear the people from the bridge. And you are here. I've been here four or five times talking about the same issue. Now the bridge is weak. It's because of the load of people who hold a uh, market there, the trade over there. And they go and see the load of things that are over there. And you are here. And you are telling me you are sorry. I've asked him not to come here anymore from tomorrow. He shouldn't report to this place any longer. Despite these measures, a recent visit to the place by City News has unveiled a rather troubling reality. Traders have returned to conduct business on the footbridge disregarding the mayor's directive. The rationale behind the return of the traders became apparent during an interview. A number of them cited the high cost and insufficient space within traditional markets as the driving force. Trouble However, the consequences of this defiance are dire. The footbridge, already tethering on the brink of collapse, has become a dangerous thoroughfare for commuters who rely on it for daily transit. Voices of fear and frustration echo among those who must navigate this hazardous structure every day. Very, very bad. Yeah, it's really worrying and very appalling. Look, even myself, when I'm climbing this one, I'm very, very afraid and I'm very cautious because it might hurt me. Look at the edges. You know, it has worn out. It has corroded. So you see that it's coming out. When you see it's coming out, and it's very sharp. It can cut anyone. So I'm very, very careful when I'm climbing it. Sometimes I trip. Sometimes you trip. By being cautious, you trip. And then it's very worrying. I'm thinking of even about the elderly people who even use this bridge. Very worried, especially the steps. Uh, it's sometimes sick when you are walking on it. So I prefer it can be maintained at the right time. City News thereafter visited the Accra Metropolitan Assembly for answers. The public relations officer for AMA expressed deep concern over the resurgence of traders on the footbridge and outlined proactive measures the assembly intends to implement to address the issue. Currently, as I speak to you now, uh, we are looking at other measures with respect to um, working closely with their tax force to ensure that uh, we collaborate to deal with them holistically because we've realized that from the AMA's point of view, when we are able to clear people from our side and then our men leave, we get these other um, traders from the other side equally moving back 
to the area and it's a bit of a challenge so that's what we are currently looking at to ensure that we deal holistically uh, with the uh, challenge there we acknowledge the fact that um, it's a challenge and they should not be trading there in response to the market space shortage plans to expand existing markets within the assembly's jurisdiction were emphasized as part of the long-term strategy you know the assembly as part of its uh, market redevelopment project is ensuring that a lot of these markets we have in the metropolis are expanded there is a plan to do some um, expansion with respect to the markets that we have within the city and uh, we are quite hopeful that uh, we'll get to Kanishi uh, soon meanwhile the ama's public relations officer advised against the use of food bridges for trading activities, stressing the inherent health risks involved. This is why we constantly uh, try to hammer on the point that their safety is very, very important. And where they are selling currently, especially the weak, it is, it is a no-go area. I want to use this medium to let them know that it's, a, it, it's about their safety. In as much as we, as an assembly, uh, or other municipal assemblies will come there. We are not looking at the monetary stuff that we are going to make out of that. It is their safety. That is why we keep on clearing them. So they, they should bear with the assembly. They should move away from that particular area. And as, as I said, this unfolding event underscores the pressing need for sustainable solutions to ensure the safety and the well-being of our residents and commuters alike.